Hi, I'm Scott from Buffalo Driver Training. It's important for new drivers entering the industry to understand that they are legally responsible for the load that they're carrying and there are legal requirements that must be adhered to for how those loads are secured on a truck. Securing a load on an open deck trailer like this one, it could be a little bit more complicated than carrying a load in a closed trailer. In Canada and the US, there are similar but sometimes different regulations that set out specifically how a load must be secured to a trailer. Basically, a load must be secured on a trailer in a way that prevents it from falling off or through the trailer or prevents it from shifting to such a point that the truck is no longer safe to operate. There are various methods of load securement available to you, but the most common type of load securement for general cargo on an open deck trailer is the synthetic tie strap. In this video, we'll take a look at the basic requirements for properly strapping down a general cargo load. Generally, straps must be in good condition with no cuts, fraying, or damage to either the synthetic strap or the ratchet mechanism. Straps that have a knot in them cannot be used. When deciding how to strap down a general cargo load on a deck trailer, there are two primary considerations. First, how long is the load? The longer the load, the more straps it's legally required to have. Straps should generally be placed evenly along the length of the cargo unless there is dunnage or supports underneath that cargo. In that case, straps should be as close as possible to those supports to prevent damage to the load. When a strap goes over a load, it should be tied down at the steepest possible angle to the trailer to prevent sideways shifting of the cargo. The shallower the angle of the tie down strap, the more likely the cargo is to shift from side to side. The second consideration is how much does the cargo weigh? In Canada, synthetic tie down straps must have the load rating printed on them. That specifies what their weight load limit is. Straps such as older ones or worn straps that do not have a visible weight load limit printed on them cannot legally be used. If you use a strap without a weight load limit clearly visible on it, its contribution to securing the load cannot be counted in the aggregate total of the total weight load limit of all the straps used. When securing cargo to a deck trailer, the weight load limit of all the straps must meet or exceed 50% of the weight of the cargo. For example, this tie strap has a weight load limit of 1,650 pounds, so it can hold 3,300 pounds of cargo. A handbook is available with specific guidelines in it for you to calculate the number of straps required based on the load and the length of the cargo. In Canada, tie straps should be routed inside of a rub rail if a trailer is equipped with one, but they should be a secured and anchored to, a, to the proper anchor point on the trailer itself rather than the rub rail. Although you can use the rub rail as an anchor point if there is no other attachment point available and the hook on the end of the strap is flat. In general, a professional driver will always use more tie down straps than is required by the minimum standard. That ensures a level of safety in, in the event that one or more of the straps fails. Remember, as the driver, you are legally responsible for the securement of the load on your truck while you're on the road, regardless of who loaded it. For the specific rules and regulations for Canada and the US, those can be found online from the US Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration for the US rules, and in Canada from the Canadian Council of Motor Transport Administrators. Also, the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance, or CVSA, publishes guidelines for enforcement officers to use when they stop trucks on the roadside. Enforcement officers will use those standards to assess whether or not your load is properly secured. If it's not, your truck could be taken out of service and you could be issued a fine. So it's important at all times to ensure the method you've used to secure the load on your truck is not only adequate, but meets the legal requirements. So remember, think safety, you're a professional driver.